Good morning, my favorite children. It's Mr. Bruce. I'm here on day three of Bear Week. Today's Bruce the Bear book. Bruce's big move. He's moving with all his geese. He's got his helmet on like Mr. Bruce. And they've got their helmets and goggles on. And he has a sidecar, which I don't have. We'll see about that. But before we start, eyes wide open and watching. Ears attached to the side of your head. Voices you be quiet. Okay, so my other bears join me for bear week today. Bruce's big move. There's a picture of Bruce's house in the forest, but he has a for sale sign on it. Why is he moving? We'll find out. Well, what we've learned so far this week is Bruce was a bear who lived with four geese because they thought he was his mother. And he lived with three mice simply because they moved in and they would not leave. For such innocent little animals, mice can take up a lot of room. And the mice is asking Bruce, you think we can fit a 1950 panel truck in here? And Bruce is saying, oh my goodness, look at that great castle they made out of newspaper and boxes. There's a queen mice, a king mice, a night mice. The other thing that mice do is make a great big mess. Look at the giant mess that house is in. Oh. And look, somebody drew dinosaurs on the wall. There's instruments all over the place and toys. Oh, what a mess. Bruce was not happy. He tried to take a quiet bath and relax, but his house was loud and chaotic. Look, the mice are jumping into his bask. He did not like it one little bit. They're saying, Cannonball! Once again, Bruce sat there with his hot cup of tea and said, I wish I could think of a way to get rid of those mice. But there wasn't. He looked down in his teacup and who was in there taking a bath? Three blind mice. He did try to get them to move out. He would pin them to certain posters on letters and say, send me here, send me to desert, send me to Tucson, send me to Mars. He would try to send them anywhere, but the post office wouldn't take mice. They only take letters. He did try to put them all in a basket and float them away with the balloon. Goodbye. But no matter how hard he tried, they kept coming back. And he would always say the same thing. Oh. U T spells out. And then I said, Bruce is right. We should get some fresh air. Oh, thank you, Bruce. You're always looking out for us. Let's go outside and play frying pan ball, which is like baseball, but you hit the ball with a frying pan instead of a bat. When he couldn't get rid of them, Bruce said, okay, I'm going to move and I'm taking my geese with me. So he loaded up his cool motorcycle with the sidecar and he put on their helmets and goggles, and off they went looking for a new place to live with the mice far behind them. Finding a new house for a mother goose and their goslings, especially if they're a bear, is very hard. And they couldn't fit in a nest. They can't swim underwater because they can't breathe underwater. They asked the turtles to build them a house, but they said we're way behind schedule. It would take them forever because turtles are so slow. Look, they didn't even get the walls on. But eventually, Bruce found the perfect house in the right neighborhood. And it was as a lake nearby and meadows to explore. And there were plenty of friendly neighbors for the geese to play with. And the woodchuck said, I'm Hilda, and these are my 13 sisters. We're going to be best friends. Well, Bruce did not like friendly neighbors. But the geese did. The best thing about his new house was, oh, there are no mice here. Bruce was very happy. Look, he's almost smiling. But the geese were not happy, and the geese were not smiling. They missed their friends. 
Bruce tried cheering him up. He took them to fly a kite, but look, they still look sad. He took them to the lake to swim, but they still look sad. He took them to the art store and got paints and tried to draw and make things happy. They wouldn't draw happy faces. They just drew sad faces because they were sad. Then, one morning, the moving van drove up. Honk, 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 honk. And who got out? The mice. Hi, Bruce. Which room do you want us to put this in? Where's our room? Oh, no, they followed him and wanted to move their stuff into his house. Now, the geese were happy. And the mice were happy. But Bruce was not happy. Again, he had those mice all over him. The mice said, this calls for a celebration. I know. Let's throw a housewarming party. Well, Bruce's house was again chaotic, crowded, and loud. All the animals came to visit. I want these animals out of my house. The mice said, oh, that's a good idea. Let's go out and play frying pan ball. And Bruce didn't like that one bit. All the animals in the neighborhood showed up. We have deer. We have squirrels. We have hedgehog. We have turtles over here. We have a fox over here. We got rabbits, a bear. Uh, Bruce again had a very, very crowded yard. But it did feel like home. And they all said, good night, Bruce. You're a very good mom. And Bruce said, I'm going to start charging you rent. But he didn't. Honk, honk. Good night. Shh. And there's Bruce's desk where he has all his recipes to cook. Well, here are the mice trying to fly away. But they came back. And there's a question I had. One of the things that I liked was the mouse, the mice made this beautiful castle out of cardboard and newspapers. If you could fold things together and make anything out of newspapers and cardboard, what would you make? You could be an airplane, it could be a ship, it could be a castle, it could be your own house, it could be an animal. So think about what you'd like to make when we get together and we start folding paper again. Until then, I'll see you again tomorrow. I miss you all. Remember to be good to your parents and wash your hands. Bye-bye.